Hello everyone and we're back with the trending stories on yen.com.gh. I'm Charles Aite. Let's begin with the story which is making rounds across town. It's the results that came out from the 2018 WASI. Of course, this, these are very disturbing results. 62% of candidates failed to achieve between A1 and C6 in the course of the examination. So far, the Education Minister has been told to step aside by the opposition National Democratic Congress. They feel that he's done a poor job in securing victory for these students in the course of the examination. Whereas the ministry is also currently investigating what exactly is going on with our students. Why are they always failing? It's not just 2018, but 2017 as well. The results keep getting worse as the time goes by. We need answers in regards to this troubling situation. So we shall be keeping an eye on what's happening with WASI and of course our candidates as well to get more answers. But let's shift our attention to the second trending story. It has to do with Anas Aramea Anas once again. This time around, the BBC World News Service has come out to say that various claims that the service did sponsor the number 12 video production of Anas Aramea Anas are false. The BBC World News Service's statement comes, you know, on the back of Kweku uh, assertion that the BBC indeed sponsored Anas Aramea Anas to embark on the entire investigation which saw the GFA dissolved following cases of corruption there. But who is telling the truth now? Is it Kweku Baku or the BBC World News Service? Well, we leave that to you, our viewers, to decide. But let's end with this brave story uh, by a Metro Mars bus uh, driver who managed to secure to safety all his passengers, except three, but all his passengers on the stretch between the Eastern Region and Accra. It all happened when he was driving and he saw a barricade on the street. But this barricade was apparently mounted by armed robbers. He managed to squish through the barricade to secure all passengers to safety. Andrew Frimpong is currently being lauded across several social media platforms for the brave acts that he showed as a driver. This is unusual, but of course we still have to be concerned when it comes to highway robberies and of course the safety of passengers as a whole. But thumbs up to Andres for the very good job that he did. Well, these have been the trending stories for you. The BBC World Service coming out to say that claims that it sponsored Anas Aramea and Anas are untrue. The WASI results which are really disturbing. 62% of our candidates failing. This is really disturbing. And that brave story about Andrews who managed to secure to safety all passengers on board his bus amidst a barricade mounted by armed robbers. Do you want more of these trending news stories? Why don't you just log on or check out on our YouTube channel for more trending stories on yen.com.gh. I'm Charles Aite. Catch you later.